All right, you guys, so starting off the video, I am going to be installing the easiest parts first, which is the uh, boost controller and the flex wheel kit. And then further along that, I'm going to be doing the more of the hands-on one, which is the fuel pump and the injectors themselves. So first thing is going to be the boost controller right over here. As you guys can see, there used to be a hose that connects to your wastegate onto your charge pipe and one of the problems i'm seeing now is the sizing of this hose as you guys can see it's a little bit bigger than what the green speed actually came with uh, at least in my case because i bought this news from uh the facebook market page but um just going around this i'm, I'm expecting I, I should be able to fit this like so i was able to fit it and just kind of force it in there not what i usually would recommend because you do want a consistent amount of pressure in those uh, hoses so for now I am going to be using this because I don't have another car to go out in the store and buy another hose but not only that in the future at least I would also want to change these um, fittings here on the controller themselves right now I don't really know what size to go off on because I prefer to have it this size, like in the delicious tuning kit, boost control kit. But that'll be for another video for now. This should be able to work out with no problems. And another thing I should mention is um, from just research alone, it's usually preferred to have the boost controller as close to where your charge pipe and whiskey is, just because the hose length will be uh, shorter. So from what I've heard, it's usually more responsive that way if you have shorter hoses. In this case for now, since I don't have a way to kind of extend this thing here, I'm going to go ahead and leave it to where that uh, purge solenoid is, which is right over there. And again, I'm going to be upgrading this in the future and probably make a, make a video on that as well. All right, as you guys can see, I got the hose all clamped up in there. I did use a... Uh, I think this is called a worm clamp on here because it's a little bit smaller than this. This one a clamp should be fine, but if you guys prefer, you can use uh, whatever you guys want. So in this case, I have that one long hose. I'm going to go ahead and cut it right in the center or the middle here. And then I should be able to connect that boost controller on there. Alright you guys, so whenever you guys have your hoses ready to go, uh, just remember there's different ports here in this boost controller. So this one right here is port 1, 2, and 3. So port 2, in this case, for this certain boost controller, is, since it might vary for other kits, in this case, port 2 will be the one that's connected to the wastegate, while port 3 here will be the one connected to your charge pipe, which is right over here wastegate over there and then port one will just be basically bending to atmosphere so a lot of people do put a, um, a filter here or a muffler but in this case i don't have one so it should be fine for now again i'm gonna go ahead and update this or upgrade it later on and put that filter on there all right so i'm just gonna connect them use some clamps and as far as that part should be good to go all right so once you guys are done with that step should look a little something like this port two if you follow it along goes to the wastegate. Port 3, you follow it along, it goes to the charge pipe. All you gotta do is kind of find a good mounting place for this to go on. Uh, in my case, I would put it under here, run it through here, and it reaches back there. And again, this isn't the most uh, cleanest setup, but I'm gonna go ahead and update that later on. Alright, so once you're back here, it starts getting a little um, tight. So you guys can see, there, uh, the thing that you are going to be watching out for is this solenoid connector right over here. So it was connected to that blue wire there. So you just got to get a feel for it and try to get this out here and unclip it. Once you have that, disconnect it. And this is where your boost controller is going to be connected on so if you guys are wondering how does that work well in this case since this is an electronic boost controller your ECU is actually going to be controlling the boost from that solenoid so 
for now it'll be fine to have that thing unplugged since uh, your tuner will configure it where that solenoid is going to be powering this boost controlling here depending on the amount of boost you want so I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in zip tie everything into place and show you guys the final uh, place of that bus controller at least for now all right so not the best looking mount but so far got everything zip tied to where the boost controller is sitting which is right over here just zip tied it there and the solenoid is all connected and as far as the boost controller that should be all it so like I said start off the easy part and that is one down next up from now is the flex fuel kit